I'm Maggie Bell, and I will be performing a monologue from And Her Hair Went With Her by Zena Camblin. Then I will transition over into a Call of Revolution monologue for the 2012 Star Project contest for ABFF. It's fine, four, nine to five. Mr. Kaufman is a real slave master. He calls me his secretary, but I'm really a personal assistant. Kaufman Realtors. No, he's not in yet. Maybe he did, but I'm sitting in front of his office door and he is not here. Hold on, I'll transfer you. I can't believe he gives his clients my cell phone number. This is my fifth job this month. I've been fired four times in one month and none of the reasons have been in my control. I'll get there when I get there. Master doesn't get there until 11 anyway. At first I was working at a marketing company. You know, telephone stuff. The guy in the cubicle next to mine. We'll just call him Jeff, cause that's his real name. He used to throw paper airplanes into my cubicle with vulgar messages on them. Let me stick my plane in your terminal. Let me slide down your runway. You know freaky stuff. When I finally decided to report it, I was told that the tweed knee length skirts that I wore to work were too revealing and it was my own fault. And Jeff turned out to be the boss's nephew so you know nothing happened to him looking at my skirt, talking dirty to me at my job. So then I had to go down a peg and work at Shoe World. Not that there's anything wrong with shoes, but people got some nasty feet. This old guy comes in one day to try out some athletic sandals and insists that I'd be the one to put them on his feet. Well, it wouldn't have been a problem if he wouldn't have fungus from growing in between his toes and rotten toenails that was causing me to dry heat. I refused to help him in them sandals, and I was fired on the spot. Kaufman Realtors, we're closed for the day. I know it's only 9.30, we had a bomb threat. So then I had to go a little lower down the ladder and work at a coffee shop. We'll just call it Star Chucks. To protect his identity, things started off well, but the third day I could make any drink off that menu and run a register. Everything was all good until one day this heifer comes in on her cell phone and orders, I guess, a decaf latte and a bunch of damn pastries. Well, I can't remember if she said decaf or regular, so when I asked her to repeat it, she pulls her cell phone from her ear and stops on me. I already told you once. Figure it out. Well, I made her a regular. <laughs> Let's just say she took two sips of it and started having convulsions. Kaufman Realtors, I'm not his keeper. I don't know where the hell he is. <sighs> My friend works at this bank and she told me they was hiring Tell us, So I applied and got the job. This was a perfect opportunity for me. Now I have a car, I ride the bus to work. First day I'm late, I saw my boss it won't happen again. Second day, a car runs a red light and side stops the bus. I'm late again. My boss says he's gonna give me one more chance. Third day, the bus is hijacked by a damn homeless man with an ax. I'm fired on the spot. My boss thinks I'm making this all up. He doesn't understand my luck with these jobs. So that leads me here to this job where Mr. Kaufman is accusing me of not taking my job seriously. Ain't that something? See?